Game one of six officially underway and on your screen, all 100 players. King and Wiki in a 1v1. King on the defensive. At this point, he might have the high ground. Oh my gosh, sneaks the shotgun shot in right before the ramp can go down. Oh no. Okay. Oh okay. no. Put the replay up of exactly how that played out. Storm here, stuck inside that box just moments ago. No. Oh. Full send into the air and does catch the shots there. The burst SMG proving useful even midair. So those are four very, very big points. Here we go, the Storm starting the pressure players. You're gonna see a lot of, a lot of launch pads and redeploys coming to play and those community movement mechanics like launch pads placed on the ground would be tough. A player actually just flew oh. right through ooh, King's ooh, box. That could have been bad, up. Dr. Lupo. That could have been real bad. Him. Maybe a trap play from either player. We'll have to see here. Benji fishing the feed, taking another elimination. Top 35 now. Tuesday week as well. Mr. Savage has shot down Rux for the moment. He still continues to keep fight. Yarkos, though, looking to challenge right now. 27 players left. Placement points it. about to come into play. Yarkos takes the ultimate high in the backside there. Riverside from Team Liquid flying across right to left of your screen. Multiple players. Ultimate low ground warriors down there, both in and out of ballers. Class looks like he might be a campfire in the middle of it. Mr. Savage. King! Rocket. King at seven oh limbs! Gosh. And it's made it into placements. King absolutely. The number one performance so far in game one. 120 in total HP. Can he find us a limb? No! As the crowd erupts. Top 20 now though, but King got the job done. There was 27 players left, Dr. Lugo. King eliminates the last two to make it a top 25 for the placement points. Huge plays there. Waylon Kurtz Ooh. going down to the feed. What a shot and a quick Ooh. edit swap there. Uga showing why he's one of the most accurate Top 15. Players. Top 15, Meg with an Elim. Your feed in the top left, one of the most important things to watch if you're looking for players' names. Here he's gonna have to wait and bait players out. Movement now. Here it is, the shadow bomb for rotation. He's still got two more in his inventory, which this late in the game is huge. He does have the three shockwave grenades as well, in case height needs to be taken, or even a long-range rotation. Eight players remaining, Jack Yarkos. Four eliminations, everyone in here getting those placement points. Oh. Beam from above and oh, goes no. down. Yeah. No builds, gonna be tough there. Saw him picking up that Elon. Booga though, five right now moving forward. But not only that, two Shadow Bombs left, still with Shockwave Grenades too. The number one point we've seen in competitive Fortnite this weekend, when do you use the Shockwave to go for height? It's Som currently on height. Booga sees that. That was him taking a look for exactly where the player is. I think it's time, Dr. Lupo. We go, Shadow Bomb will be used. Okay, so not quite you're doing it yet. looking for a high ground. Yeah, I was that, looking that to see. He's saving those, don't you worry. I guarantee before too long, player like this is gonna make plays. Hitting the edge of the storm, the box up. He's going for edit shots, big hit. My gosh. On the outside, Booga picking up his sixth elimination. Creo, Rux, Booga all on the low ground. Bella EU, oh, all one player, one player to shock down. the height. It's still Sam up top. Still got it. Same floor as Creole. 1v1 up top, 2 1v1 on the bottom, stuck in the box. Big hits, back to back shots. Booga picking up another elimination. Booga is insane now. Almost going to be his game to win. We'll see here another one. Can he find the ninth elimination and the first victory royale, the World Cup solos? Dr. Lupo, it might be time soon. It might be time soon. Booga, Booga smiling. He's got the health advantage on Creo. He does. Folks, it might be time for the shockwave play. Booga could soar up into the sky. Go for it. Here it is. Shockwave to hide. Shots coming in. No elimination yet for the first game victory royale. Oh, my gosh. Confident play from Booga. What a monster. The first victory royale. No surprise here, a nine-point lead out of game one. Booga! Huge, huge first game for the NA player. That's what you want to see. You want a health advantage at the end. Nine E-limbs to cap off an incredible first game. What is your thought process going into the final moments of in-game, right? A 1v1 there at the end, you've got health advantage. What are you thinking? Uh, well, I'm pretty much low ground. I have like 200 mats, and I realized that I could probably make a play with the impulse, just go fry and just like get a big pump on him. Amazing. Well, we saw that happen in real time. An amazing clutch for an end of a first game for Booga. Yo, Jack, Lupo, that, that is exactly what you want to see, is it not? 
<laughs> I mean, I don't think you can really ask for much more than that. A victory royale and nine of limbs. The man is so talented, has always been with the top solo players in the North American region, and he shows it right there in game one, and already a nine-point lead. Solid, solid stuff. Game two of the solos competition here at the Fortnite World Cup Finals starts right now. Seven players remaining. The end of no game bills. two right before your eyes, folks. 120 total HP. He can't spend any time out of the zone right now. Player goes down inside the box. Can't quite get in. One right behind outside. Can't find a beat. Issa goes down, placed in fourth. A 1v1. Dubs, the ultimate high ground. The crowd cheering behind him, looking to see if he can capitalize on this advantageous position. Down low, it's Skype for Skype. A little bit of a build off between the two, layering defensively against each other. But Dubs, no build. One build. The flint knock to save him on the drop might be the play just outside ahead of the build. Maybe can catch himself. Oh gosh, he gets the Around inside the storm. This might be it. Shockwave into the flint knock, into the safe zone, doubling back, another one, a valiant effort. He's got to find a feed, but he won't be able to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, game two goes to Sky. First place being held by Booga. Nine Elims, 19 points from that first game. No showing in the second game, but it's still enough to keep him all the way at the top. Will we see one of our two winners get back-to-back -back wins, get double wins? That will be massive for them. Riversand has to reset. Needs to be careful not to get hit by that storm. Someone's going to be above him. He's and too good. And elimination on to Skype. We're now sitting at a 1v1. Two players left standing here. Who's it going to be down low? It's Dubs! It's Dubs down low! And Riversand has Dubs on his sight! Who's gonna get the win here? Riversand navigating, tarping. He has seven bills remaining. Dubs trying to play defense, giving himself any kind of cover that he can possibly maintain. But Riversand, a few more explodes remaining. That could punish Dubs. He's really trying to keep him down to the zone here, Golden Boy. Oh man, this is it. He sends another one out, and they're just telling him he gotta run. He goes into it. He's still holding position. Dubs has the high ground, but he gets in front of him, and Dubs gets a victory royale. 19 points, one point shy of taking second, and Booga, way to hold on to that positioning at the top of the mountain. Now the question is, can Booga, Skype, and Dubs continue to hold their lead? We're into a 1v1v1v1 top four players now. Mongrel in the ultimate low ground, going up against a player, and it's gonna be Booga! The game one winner will not be enough against Mongrel, who does get picked quite a bit. He loses a lot of HP, no more builds, but the victory royale goes to the veteran Som, who manages to pick up a massive win. Here are the standings, though. Booga still holding on to first place. Look how far ahead he is. Game five underway of the Fortnite World Cup Finals. Can Booga make the impossible happen? Dodges the trap as well. Taking a little bit of storm damage. Booga's got to make it on in. One build left. Drops on in. Booga. No. But either way. It's all good. He's Look. done what he needs to do. He knows how important that game is. Now we're in our top three. Pika up top. We were following him earlier on today. Pisces and Creo all the way down low. Zero builds in Pika's inventory. It's going to be tough. He's going to have to drop in and go for a fight. Cannot connect. Jesus finds that elimination. Creo gets the final one in game five. Ladies and gentlemen, Booga sits atop his throne far and away in first place. The battle bus has launched one more time. The Fortnite World Cup Finals ends right here. All 100 players on your screen there, Jack. Booga sitting out in front of everyone thus far. A commanding lead. Rio, the winner of the previous game. Flying in there in the northeast corner of the map. Spread of players across the screen. There's your top 10 on the left side. Booga, Song, Creo, Skype, Nate, Riverson, Rux, and the rest. Average placement thus far of 25th for Creo. Only eight eliminations, but 30 points. Enough to put him in third place thus far. One thing to remember too, yesterday, Zate and Saf held on to the lead. The first five games, and it slipped away in game six. Booga 
has been in the lead for all five games. He has never lost the first place spot. Will he suffer the same fate, or can he close it out right here to remain our Fortnite world champion? Booga, by the way, hails from Pennsylvania, 16-year-old player. Sentinels qualified the very first week for the World Cup. He's probably just got his first part-time job to try to start earning money to buy himself a car. But instead, after this, could walk away with $3 million. Dude's going to walk on in and say, I quit. <laughs> Can't wait for him to get home. As, you know, imagine he wins $3 million here. His parents are going to ask him to take the trash out, and he's going to laugh. Yeah, right. <laughs> He'll just pay his butler to do that, I guess, at that point. <laughs> as Cease currently set up, not many builds. One of these very early, awkward fights. Cease knows that as well. You look at what he has. A common infantry rifle, 25 shots, and a drum gun. Zero Jack, one of the first Jeez. four to go down in this match is Skype, who was in fourth place. Wow, so a little a bit very of pressure already, already gone from that top spot. Cease just moving for the moment. Two chug splashes. If I do as he throws them down, can you see all the players surrounded outside this sunny steps side of the map? Cease continues to bounce around for the moment. Not many AR shots left. We'll get some out of the ammo crate, which is good. Everything that counts. And the farming of stone continues. Moffin and Zayt outside of Loot Lake, just fighting on the outskirts of it. Now we're just kind of building, walling against any pressure from Zayt. Doesn't want to get caught on rotation. Interesting loadout, that gold combat very early. That's a very solid pickup to start this match. Single shockwave remaining. Legendary grenade launcher. Drum gun hand as well. I mean, talk about a great starting inventory. As you swap on over. Blaster in a fight. Side pressure plant. One more player nearby, only at 73 HP, but again, when you're in this far into the tournament, you, you kind of get to a point where you just got to go for it. You got to just force an engagement. You got to get the points up. Shot comes on through. Not able to get it done as of yet. Blaster still healing up. We'll have bandages to get back up to, I think, 75 HP. In the feed, it looked like Tifu picking up an elimination. Let's see here how things play out. 90 players remaining. The first circle starts to close in 50 seconds. Bandaging on the egg. Blaster just hanging out out here. That player down below, gonna see if he can take shots here in a second. T-Chub's gonna roll all the way down. Looks like no engagement gonna happen here. Yarko, Sledwicky, two players that have faced off against each other a number of times. Gonna go for the wall. And in fact, get it, gets the angle inside and pushes on through. A solid aggressive play from Ledwicky to pick up his first elimination of game six. Very clean, and that will end Yarko's Fortnite World Cup run. Solid performance earlier on. We'll see where he stacks up with the rest of this lobby when it's all said and done. Reminder, this is our final game here tonight. Use the hashtag Fortnite World Cup. Get it trending, just like yesterday. Alongside the millions of people watching online, Sam, who is our player, as well, near the top of the leaderboards. What can he do in this last game? Can he make the trek to try to catch up to Booga, who was 15 points, 15 points ahead in first? Pika 1v1. And angled down through a handful of edits here at Mega Mall. He's going to push around the side and try and make his way inside. Mall itself. Pika earned 12 of his total points in just the last match. And I think that says a lot about oh. what is possible. 11th place when we rolled into this game. Pika trying to find a way inside. Pushing down through the outside. Maybe. Does in fact get the wall replace. Are you kidding me? Used the shockwave to get down the wall that his player inside was smacking out with it. Uh, he, that's unbelievable. He basically called so the bluff. Fast. He called the bluff. The guy was trying to break the wall to secure it for his own. Pika was like, okay, break the wall for me. I'll just replace it my own. And he does just that, Pika. Full HP, two slurp juices, six minis, a very good assault rifle, the shotgun, but it looks like the aggression doesn't end here. Wall instantly broken. 
Pyramid's placed as well. And he can just continue to play these box fights. Will he use the Shockwave to try to drop down his opponent again? Set it once. Wouldn't surprise me if he used that same tactic here soon. At this point, 100 HP, 100 shield. I do not blame him for being aggressive here. Knowing that players may be a little sparse in terms of loot, he's trying to track. Keenstar on the outside, rotating around the edge of Mega Mall. These two players gonna end up on top of each other before you know it. Oh Ooh. my gosh. Floor loot. Okay. A heavy sniper rifle. That's and another slurp. Okay. Oh, He's like looking for it. It's like Batman. You see him watching. He's waiting. Waiting. <laughs> Dropping on in, does use those audio cues to try and track down the opponent underneath. Ops to back out of the fight for just a second. Get a different angle. Pika's awareness inside Mega Mall is insane. Knowing exactly where his opponents are and exactly when to push. Already picked him one elimination using those skills. Gonna see if he can find a second to player in the slip. Don't, Going for the don't. snipe. Oh, and he can't quite connect. Imagine what would have happened in this arena if he hits that shot. <laughs> Death. <laughs> he dabs after it. And he dabs after it. He's like, all right, this is mine. Let's see you guys. That's Hood J, the only remaining player in the Mega Ball area. Pika just going to go back. Loot on up. You know, another slurp still inside. So Pika knows if he gets in a fight, he can get the elimination. Even if he's weak, he can pop a slurp, go grab another. Don't think that's going to happen yet. We'll Shift our focus. There's Booga on your screen. Core Gaming and Benji Fishy within a couple boxes of each other. Maybe a fight will break out here soon. Snow rolling in on the top right as well. You know, the baller. Lalia, ball boom on your screen. Edges there. Lalia being quite a bit. A ton of damage taken. Meanwhile, back at that small town in the southeast corner of the map. Banny, Arkram, back in a 1v1. Most likely, honestly, round six of these two facing <laughs> off the beginning of these games. 73 players left, the Storm right on their backs. Things are gonna start moving here in a middle battle, but these two decide to fight it out right now. He phased through the floor, could have opted to go up, misses the shot. A little bit of damage, out of 140, gonna opt for a mini, even just the 10 shield might be enough to save him from Arkham. I have to see here, pressure of the stink. He's trying to find a top down and kind of lead the shots on what may or may not be a build out from Arkham. Right through it, Arkham dropping all the way down the campfire. And he's going to drop that on one corner in an effort to push Ooh. Arkham out of the box. Unbelievably, honestly, what a shot from Arkham, the bottom there. A quick edit on the ceiling, shot comes through. Health very similar between the two. Slight advantage to Arkham right now. You have to imagine that almost every 1v1 between these two has played out so complexly. If we're watching this right now, I, I guarantee you this is not the first time we've seen it. What a shot, a quick flip and edit on the ramp. It's cat and mouse. It's literally cat and mouse in this fight. This is one of the most insane 1v1s I think I've ever seen. 64 HP remaining. Bandy's going to have to back all the way to the top. Maybe the campfire down. Just a second gets dropped in. Going to have to wall against that. The ramp to save him. One chance for the minis is going to wall off still back and forth between these two titans. The campfire goes down. As soon as that wall edit happens, the ramp inside just to prevent any push from the opponent. Apart from finding another angle, might be the only option at this point. The campfire, though, is going to have dealt a lot of HP back to Baney. Shot through, can't quite connect. Here we go, pressure up top, and oh my gosh, Dude. the pyramid block. Finally, the storm deciding it's time to play the fight out. And Banny goes down. Hey, great fight though, man. That, that was went insane. On. That went on for a full two minutes. I love that we got to keep our eyes on that, but moving across the map now, it's Pika. We were complimenting so much on how easily he can move through these boxes in Mega Mall, how he can navigate these areas, and it looks like that same exact pattern is continuing. It's Flexi, who's at a major health disadvantage, but as I say that, does hit a quick little shotgun shot that I think will push Pika away for a moment or make him reassess what he's doing, maybe a misclick. It looked like he didn't really mean to do that. Eventually, he's going to have to try and take some sort of aggressive stance soon. A minute on this storm before it closes, and he's not in the next safe zone. Rogue Shark in your feet, picking up an Elim. We're down to 68 players remaining. Outside of that 70 range, where the storm starts to tick on him. Pika, no wall in place yet. 
He's just so trying every chance he can to take tactic. these walls. This is the speed of these players. This is some insane, insane stuff. This is why they're here at the World Cup. Can't quite hit the shot. He did a reset, took the other corner out, just as the opponent inside takes a shot with the shotgun. Can't quite connect. Still going for these wall replaces. Ooh. Big hit there Ooh. down to 16 HP. And he's got no mats. He's got, he's got two total builds. So with the zone pushing as well, this looks like it's got to be a shadow bomb play. Pika is actually going to dive into the zone to make his path a little bit less predictable. We'll take the long route. 10 health, he's got a launch pad. I'm going to tell you right now, Pika is not happy. Yeah, you see him kind of sigh right there. Uses both shadow bombs, uses all the materials he has. Literally can only build one wall, can't even box up for safety. Uses one of his launch pads to not a fun spot to be in. If you're Pika, look, still can't even build one box. Does have the minis. He's got a campfire in case he wants to put it down. I think the fear at this point is if he puts that campfire down, it's like a signal flare for anybody around. This is the box to push. Meanwhile, Tifu, Dusty Divot flying across, landing near more opponent builds potentially. Back down, shots at the target he was right next to. He's in this box alone. You see in the mini map, only a handful of players around Dusty Divot. Clicks, reverse, Bizzle, you see in the top. Pretty far <laughs> out there. And Clicks is actually, you know, one of his trio partners. The previous trio cut that happened. They're fighting each other right now. He's trying to make his way out of here. Still not in zone yet. Really used his launch pad. He did use his last shockwave, you remember, as well. There is some loot nearby, but player challenging team is going to back up for the moment and rebox. Oh yeah, we got a fight here, Tifu. One versus one. Is it Clicks? Not exactly sure. It is Clicks on the other side of this wall. So Tifu versus Clicks. Veteran versus the up-and-comer. Tifu backing up for the moment. It looks like there's another player nearby as Clicks will just say, nope, don't need this anymore. We'll fly away. Car who goes down in the elimination feed. Cease goes down in the elimination feed. 63 players left. No storm surge in this one yet. Booga picking up an elimination. It's first of this match. Just another point between him and second place. And consistency so key, and Booga has embodied that today. Only one bad game. The rest have been absolutely electric. Booga's just sat up with the high ground in the zone, waiting patiently for this lobby to drop on down. Snazy now one box away from an opponent. 54 HP, needs to perfectly edit one of these walls and get a shot down range to see his opponent not sitting still for any moment. He expects him to drop it, and that's exactly what happens. He's finding the patterns and how his opponent likes to play these box fights. But still with no healing and his opponent dropping back, uh, jumping back up, you gotta think his, some shields will be replenished and Stacey will be at even more of a health disadvantage. Tries to go for the reset okay. on the floor. Can't no shields pop. go, catches himself. He's going to hold the edit on this pyramid. He's looking for a chance to push Martin. If one arises, we'll have to see. Snazy's hope may be to catch him off guard. There we go. Here's the shadow bomb. Going to rotate up and away. Use that redeploy and try and make his way into the safe zone. Only 54 HP. He's not quite safe yet, but now it's the chance to look to the right. You get a couple shots. Player inside the box as he lands right next to him. The edit through and Rogue Shark sets the trap and gets him. Tough play there. Clicks. Meanwhile, one elimination, 62 builds. Sit on two shadow bombs. To see here, the very north edge. He's underneath the plateau of Dusty Divot. Reverse down there as well. Tifu on the edge. Astonish, Smeef, Zate. So many players stacked up near each other. And oftentimes, you do see players utilizing the already built structures for easy wall replaces. No surprise. Saw, Popped up next to inventory looks great, but he just doesn't have a lot of ammo. Imagine he picks up one elim on someone who is, uh, who can kind of fill those numbers up. He'd be looking at it. would be a great spot for late game. Seven RPG. Still very, very good. 69 total builds on the 60 now. 56 players remaining. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final game of the solo competition it. here at the Fortnite World Cup. It literally all comes down to this. Five players will become millionaires right after this game. Team just ridiculous. picked up his third limb. Still has a launch pad, some great loot on the player that he just took down. But he doesn't have the zone again. He does have two launch pads, and I'm going to use one of those. As he wants to make sure he makes some of those placement points, and there it comes. Launch pad used. Will Tifu get beamed? Right, this is one of those moments where you're just thinking, Ben, please don't shoot me, please don't shoot me, please don't shoot me, please don't shoot me. Looks like he'll make it up through one team. Literally flying past the windows of opponents, gonna land on top of the second structure. Somebody underneath. So layering up 86 builds, still has another launch pad. Has a boogie just in case maybe a baller rolls past close enough. He could boogie the player directly out of it. Try and pick up that Elam, jump in the, in the, uh, the baller and roll away. Even in a clutch situation, the Boogie Bomb can give you an opportunity for a free shotgun shot on someone that may be unsuspecting. The loadout here, look at this, two campfires, ten redeploys, two shockwaves, six minis, but no medium ammo, Jack. A crazy note with Booga. When he, when the Fortnite World Cup qualifier started, Booga qualified in week one, in NA, in first place. From the, from the moment Fortnite World Cup started, he finished atop the North America region. And now in another spot again where it can happen and he's just dancing up top. He knows really this is his to take unless someone has legitimately the best performance ever in the history of a Fortnite competitive game. Booga should be our Fortnite world champion. Tifu and Benji Fishy fighting on the bottom right of your screen. Sam, who's trying to contest and take that throne. Replay did get his first limb of this game and you see the fist bump right there. That was Clicks who gets cut down. At this point, 51 players remaining. This lobby is going to get very, very tight. Going into this match, Psalm was two points ahead of third, pl third place, but 15, 15 <laughs> points behind first. Talk about a lead. We've just now hit our top 50 in this game. Arkham goes down. Psalm, one elimination. Can he close the gap? If you think about it right now, he's still 15 behind, Ben. Booga's still in this game. What he needs right now, Booga to go down, and he needs five more limbs and a victory royale, but no! No! Sam gets caught off guard, it's Zayt, and as that happens, Booga gets a limb. The pieces are falling into place, and Booga's about to call checkmate. Tifu on your screen here, three eliminations. Still has the launch pad, sitting on a pretty similar loadout. Not a lot has changed as he's waiting, biding his time, looking for eliminations up above the rest, though. Booga. Booga hasn't had to move in five minutes. Nope. He's had height. He hasn't had to move in five minutes. He's so he's sitting so pretty. Here's that a limb that we missed when Sam got taken out. And oh, oh, Are you kidding? Oh, oh, look at look at him oh, laugh. Look at him absolutely laugh. Is it a, a, Quick one tap on Storm on the move. It's a gift. Is it his birthday? Is that about as free as it gets? Booga might be the luckiest player with zone placement I think we've ever seen in a competitive Fortnite match. Sitting atop his tower, a castle of metal, unthreatened. And he built it with metal earlier, and he just kind of hoped it would work out this way, and it did. He's been sat here for so long. It, it, it basically sums up the leaderboard. This is the leaderboard in the game itself. Booga on top, nobody nearby, no threats, nothing. Now with the zone moving, everyone soaring, and this is where it picks up quick, folks. The final moments of the Fortnite World Cup. We're watching Booga. Oh, Do please. Oh. Oh. Imagine, imagine. Right, I'm picking up a pair in the feed there. Fluttermoise and Dubs both go down. Gonna be two very good eliminations there. 38 players remaining. Top 25 is when placement starts to come in, and Booga is looking for shots on everybody flying around. Still has that high ground advantage. He's and others looking to try and contest it. Benji Fishy moving up as well. Ballers still rotating the low ground. Tifu making his way across. A lot of damage coming in. Only one minute in the inventory, and 15 builds remaining. A tough spot. He's, he's so close to placement, but can he survive? Be King with elimination. Player count continuing to drop. Vizzle, Takamura, Zayt picking up multiple eliminations. 
30 players remaining. 29 to get closer and closer. Benji Fishy goes down. Tifu eliminated in the box. Kurtz picks that one up. That will end Tifu's Fortnite World Cup. Zane drops off high ground for the moment. Booga's still alive in this game in the bottom right of your screen. Still a max HP. He's made it in the top 25. At this point, it's basically a victory lap. Yeah, he's getting beamed out of the sky, but he doesn't care. He'll drop on in, pop some minis. King on the top right had six a limbs. The guy's an absolute brawler. The 13-year-old should be so proud of how he played today. Lol Boom up top, crew the double fall by Booga, player as well. Up another elimination. Takamura goes down. Booga now into your top 20. Mongrel, your Fortnite World Cup is over. Vivid still alive in this game. It's crew with four limbs atop our leaderboard right now. That's most limbs of who's still alive. Booga there as well. Has all the ammo in the world, not a lot of materials. Let's see how he weasels his way out of this one. Ball boom, the ultimate high ground. Teachup going for a challenge up top. Does, in fact, take it over. Meanwhile, Booga, box fight for his life. A little back and forth here. He's waiting to see if this player rotates out. There it is, a big shot. Another elimination. And he's got, he's got near max oh, materials. He's kidding me. He's going to trap the ball. Oh, the ball escapes. The absolute seeds right now. Booga still moving through. And at this point, it's a sign of respect. We've got to watch this man continue to dominate. A statement is being made. Dr. Lupo at the end of this game, he'll most likely be crowned the best Fortnite player in the world. I've never seen anybody play in a competitive Fortnite match with a smile on his face like this kid right now, but he is absolutely dominating every single player he's run into thus far. Looking for a shot here with a couple of edits. Rotating back away, pressure from above, and he's immediately going to wall that off. The kids are Top 10! The roof he's right smiling! Now. He knows it! Absolutely he knows it! Absolutely ridiculous. Nine players left. Unrelenting is Booga. Hasn't dropped out of first since today started. There's all the remaining players. Running low on materials, but he still wants more. Four limbs in this game. Box set up for a moment. Pyramid comes through. Booga, still alive, shots going down, can't connect with that one, one build left, the final moment of Fortnite World oh Cup! Oh my gosh! Bow Drop. down! Surprise. Bow down to Booga! Doesn't even matter, four players, three players remaining, it's a fight out for the Victory Royale in game six. Two a left! 1v1, crew still in it, Teachup as well, back and forth, and it might come down to a heel off. Teachup dropping down those campfires. <laughs> we'll see here, crew following it all the way in, and Teachup goes down. But ladies and gentlemen, there's no way anyone beats him. Your Fortnite World Champion!